Hi, welcome back to 130 Women Gallery. Um, it's time for another tour. Today, we are going to be, I would like you to join me, in the lolly shop. How much more fun could that be? Let's uh, turn around and have a look inside Lottie's lolly. So this one's a little bit of a step back in time again. And oh my gosh, such a fun, fun and colorful uh, little experience in here. In here, we get to meet the incredible Bertha. Bertha actually entertained our crowd on um, the charity auction opening night. She had a big noisy crowd, absolutely silence and captivated. And she told her story um, about what life used to be like uh, in Laverton, right back uh, in the early 1900s. So originally from Germany, Bertha moved straight up to Laverton when she came to Australia. And I feel like she must have been the absolute goddess of the town. Because what she did, she made ice cream and lollies and cupcakes and bread um, in the middle of the desert. Could you imagine the woman who made the ice cream in Laverton in 1910? Incredible. So let's have a little look around. Um, we'll start up here with a Linda Ray, just add ice. So the way Lottie, uh, sorry, Bertha, made her ice cream was she actually got the ice shipped up on the train to Laverton to make her ice cream. I'd love to know what that, what that looked like. Over here we have one of our juniors. This is Bertha and Betsy. Bertha actually had cows, so she started with the bakery, then she got some cows. She used the cows to make the ice cream and the cupcakes. So quite, quite an entrepreneur, um, a real businesswoman um, was Bertha. Here we have Bertha Nossenheim. So this is, they were the general storekeeper and fancy goods. So this is her recipe book. A little bit of um, paper art by Carol Thompson. As you can see here, it's ready waiting for your very special recipes. Very special little piece, that one. The kids love this room, can't imagine why. Um, this is how we treat our volunteers, keeps them coming back for more. Um, this little country kitchen hutch is actually available by the silent auction. All of the good, all of the sales in this room, all of the artworks and the other little bits of keepsakes that are for sale in here, the proceeds go towards Kalgoorlie Boulder Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We thought that was very fitting since um, Bertha was really, really quite a businesswoman. Started with a bakery and there was no stopping there at all. Okay, now ode to the lolly shop. It's the simple things in life. Watercolour ink and sparkles. See a little bit of a detail there. Really splattery, really bright, messy, yummy, tasty and fun. Quite a large piece, that one, if you've got a nice big wall. Bit of fun here. And then over to this one. This one's called Lolly Drops. It's actually candy dyed fabric, hand embroidery and machine quilting. So this fabric was actually dyed with lollies. I think it was Skittles. Maybe uh, K.A. Fiber Art can make a comment and let us know what she used for her dyeing. 
I feel like it's Skittles, but we will find out what she comments below. Uh, lots of vintage uh, bits and pieces here to set the theme. Unfortunately, these ones aren't for sale. Here's Bertha. She sets a great, great scene in the in the uh, room. Now, I've got some little eggs here. The reason we've got eggs in here is because she used to leave um, free eggs on her table for the uh, miners to come in and they would come in and um, just eat them raw. I guess they needed it to get their nutrients um, in and get nice and healthy for the job they had to do. So in ode to that, freshly laid, perfect timing for Easter. How gorgeous is this little one? I got the little, the little tablecloth there and the eggs. Beautiful colors there. Blue, green, pink, yellow. We've got the colored eggs down here as well that inspired, inspired Kelly's artwork. So very much like Easter eggs, gorgeous little bowl of eggs. Great detail in these ones. Kelly hand embroiders all of these, which is what gives them their incredible character. So if you're looking for something a bit quirky and different, just in time for Easter, uh, come in and check out Freshly Laid. Now this one over here, sorry, the vintage beaters are also not for sale. Oh, this guy's gorgeous. His name's Cupcake, her name, his name, little guy. Oh, how perfect is he? So, so, so cute. Let's have a close look at these little eyelashes. Oh, the details are just gorgeous. So, uh, actually from up that way, artist Talitha Sprig Cupcake in coloured pencil. Such a cool little, cool little guy, that one. A really great buy. Then over here, lots of fun. Absolutely, Denise Wallace style it is Sweet Delights, acrylic, resin, and polymer clay. Look at these little guys. They they like they look real, but just miniature. Incredibly talented with her resin work. So you might know Denise as Fox and Fawn. On Facebook and Instagram, I see her at the local markets, all the links to her um, online shopping. She does a lot of resin work, um, earrings and things like that. So she's going to be creative here for Bertha. Look at this, look at these cup, um, ice cream cones. You would totally think that they were real. Just set in to the resin. So that's a little triptych that set. Super cute. And the last one here, we have Lottie's Lollies. It's a double-sided sign. You may recognize the style. Lottie's open, Lottie's closed. Luckily, she's open. Um, Angela Sutherland, spray paint, acrylic, and she likes sparkles too. So, that is Lottie's Lollies, which is Bertha's little lolly shop slash bakery slash place to find your really cool free eggs just in time for Easter. Um, come in, enjoy. You can almost taste the sweetness in here. Let's have a little look how the auction... Okay, we've got bits on almost everything in here. We've only got till Sunday to come and make sure that you're winning. Ooh, what's the hot one in here? Oh, it's the simple things in life. It's going hot for $500. That's the big lollipop over there. Um, so if you've been outbid, you might want to come in and up your bid. $400 on Sweet Delights, which is, I think that's, that's Tanisa's piece. Gorgeous. So there you go, guys. That is where the bids are up to. You have until Sunday to come in and up your bids if you want um, 
from Bertha's Lolly Shop. See you soon. We're open from 10 till 2, Wednesday till Sunday. And our last day is the 6th of April. That's the Thursday before Easter, so make sure you get in before then. See you soon.